morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the sure word for today's audio daily devotion. Today is such a beautiful day, and I feel optimistic and focused. I hope you have a great day. If you're here for the first time, I would be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. Today's title for the word of encouragement is, Sometimes trying to fix a problem is the problem. It is like pouring more fuel on a fire you intend to quench. The size of the fire gets bigger and out of control despite all your effort to kill the fire. There is a particular fire you must allow to burn down on its own without extinguishing it. Any extinguisher will instead ignite the fire and end up burning and destroying more than you bargain for. When a situation you are trying to resolve gets worse, you are told it was because you dealt with the symptoms, not the root of the problem. They will tell you that the problem is that you were only addressing the pain that was the most obvious symptom of the problem but not the root of the problem itself. Okay. I understand all this root of the problem stuff, but this is different from what I am referring to. In this instance, you are dealing with the root cause effect, the exact way you should have dealt with the problem, but this time around, the problem is getting worse. You are dealing with the situation the right way, but the situation is getting worse, things are moving downward, and nothing good will come out of your solution even when your approach seems to be the right approach. Your approach needs to be corrected even if the concept is right. If it is the right approach, things will get better. If you continue to throw more solutions, you will soon become frustrated and exhausted, which could lead to anxiety. You know what follows when you are anxious. Your mental health is being affected. You desperately want the problem to go away, but it isn't, and it is stressing you. We all face these kinds of stubborn problems from time to time. These kinds of situations can make you lose your confidence. You may need to think through your actions and their consequences. I see this a lot in software development when I'm fixing a bug in a complex piece of software. If I modify it here, A, breaks, and if I do this, B, breaks. If I let A, break, I can fix it with X, but that will end up breaking C, though I could fix that with Y, but it will break D, and so on. You get the point. Try to step back, investigate, look at the whole problem, and think it through before you start fixing it. There are times the problem can be solved without fixing it. It is like Andrew's liver salt. It bubbles and in a few minutes becomes normal. You do not need to act. It is the action of non-action. The best way to deal with these problems is not to act. You are not forcing any solutions but just letting things flow. It would be best if you had the discipline and patience not to react and let things take their natural course. All you need is to adapt to it. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today. I will do good for those who hate me. The title for today's series for the sure word for today is. The Signs of Being Too Nice. Part 3 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Quote. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Unquote. The next sign I want to point your attention towards that indicates 
you are too nice. It's when you want to drop what you're doing to help another person, even if it means sacrificing something important to you. I am not saying you should be selfish, but you cannot give what you do not have. If you are a classic people pleaser, you will often prioritize the needs of others before your own. It is not necessarily bad, but when you compromise regularly, it could signify that you are in a one-sided relationship and more explicit boundaries are needed. If you find yourself giving too much of yourself in a relationship that gives you nothing in return, consider taking a step back and thinking about whether you are okay with that. If you compromise too much of yourself, your values and your ideals, you could get hurt more than you imagine. Understanding what it means to compromise is healthy. Being used is not a compromise. Compromise is part of a healthy relationship. It can be as simple as which restaurant to go to for dinner or which movie to see. Healthy compromise is part of growing together to achieve a common goal. Healthy compromise is not selfish and does not have a winner or a loser. It is about how we can make this work so we both feel happy and fulfilled. When you drop everything to the detriment of your happiness, it is no longer a compromise. It is not looking after yourself. When you start compromising on issues that are against your principles, it is no longer a compromise. It has become unhealthy and you will lose some part of yourself. If care is not taken, you might lose all of yourself. It means there will no longer be you. If you set out to be liked, you'll be prepared to compromise on anything at any time and achieve nothing. A compromise is an agreement whereby both parties get what neither of them wants. So, why are you the only one giving up what you want? We have reached the end of part 3 of the Showword Audio Devotion series titled The Science of Being Too Nice. Welcome to the Showword Capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Showword capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. The title for the short word capsule for this series is I choose not to be anxious. I do not have the spirit of fear. I do not have the spirit of fear. I have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I am not walking in fear. I am not walking in fear. I am strong and courageous. I am strong and courageous. In and through the spirit of God are life in me. In and through the spirit of God are life in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being my helper today with everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being my helper today with everything. I can do what I need today. I can do what I need today. Through your power, giving me strength. Through your power, giving me strength. I am more than a conqueror in every situation. I am more than a conqueror in every situation because of your love and power in my life because of your love and 
power in my life. I put on the garment of praise. I put on the garment of praise. Every time I feel depressed. Every time I feel depressed. Thank you, Lord, for inhabiting my praises. Thank you, Lord, for inhabiting my praises. And filling me with your joy and strength today. And filling me with your joy and strength today. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that as I follow and trust you completely, that as I follow and trust you completely, your good plans for me will be carried out. Your good plans for me will be carried out. And no weapon formed against me, and no weapon formed against me. My mind, body, or spirit will prosper in Jesus' name. My mind, body, or spirit will prosper in Jesus' name. Because I meditate on, because I meditate on, believe, honor, trust, and live by your word. Believe, honor, trust, and live by your word. I expect good success. I expect good success in everything you, Lord, have called me to do. In everything you, Lord, has called me to do. According to Mark chapter 11, verse 23. According to Mark chapter 11, verse 23. I can have whatever I believe in my heart. I can have whatever I believe in my heart. And confess with my mouth. And confess with my mouth. Therefore, I say and believe that. Therefore, I say and believe that I am blessed in my spiritual life. I am blessed in my spiritual life. My health is perfect. My health is perfect. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The works of my hands and my finances are blessed. The works of my hands and my finances are blessed. Success and prosperity follow me everywhere I go. Success and prosperity follow me everywhere I go. Dear Lord, dear Lord, your divine angelic protection is upon my life. Your divine angelic protection is upon my life. And everyone around me is blessed as well. And everyone around me is blessed as well. Father, I receive all these promises in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I receive all these promises in the name of Jesus Christ. They are all mine in Jesus' name. They are all mine in Jesus' name. I choose not to be anxious, fearful, or worried about my future. I choose not to be anxious, fearful, or worried about my future. Because you, Lord, hold my future. Because you, Lord, hold my future. Order and direct my steps. Order and direct my steps. And every decision today and all my days. And every decision today and all my days. Open the doors you desire me to walk through, Lord. Open the doors you desire me to walk through, Lord. And close every door that is not part of your plan for me. And close every door that is not part of your plan for me. Thank you for leading me by your peace today. Thank you for leading me by your peace today. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. For more inspiration, motivation, encouragement, and spiritual upliftment subscribe to this channel. If you want to support our work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. For more capsules tailored to meet your needs, visit www.theshoreword.org.uk forward slash capsule. Also, you can request a sure word capsule to be created for your challenges. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion.
Thank you for listening, watching, and confessing along. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.